Good morning. I just thought I'd show you uh, a problem I've got with moving this consumer unit out of here. Um, this was the temporary install that I put in uh, about a year ago, just so that he could use his welder. Um, and I've used this uh, enclosure to include a couple more MCBs for um, sockets and this was a remote radio controlled lighting circuit uh, which worked off a switch uh, back here. The problem I've got is now I'm going to get rid of all this and we're going to put uh, this armoured cable which goes through uh, to the consumer unit. This armoured cable is going to come into this enclosure here where I've got the Henley block there uh, and then a single phase is going to come off this uh, isolator, um, come into this Henley block and then out of that Henley block as well is going to come some more tails to go into another enclosure with the SPDs in it. The problem is that all this is going to be behind some kind of a, I don't know, this is going to be a bathroom. This has got to be a bathroom, so it's got to be behind some kind of waterproof, I don't know, I don't know what it's got to be behind, but that's tricky. Um, this is the armoured cable that comes off, that comes in from the other, the other position. And uh, so I've got to fit all this uh, stuff. There it is. It's basically, uh, in the end, it's a little consumer unit of its own with just one circuit in it. The SPD's got a isolator here. I've got to put an isolator in because. Um, there's no no other way of getting tails into it and then it's got a bus bar here into the 32 amp MCB and then into the the SPD type 1 and 2 SPD the cable I'm going to use is 4 mil uh, I don't think I don't think that's going to cause a problem so yeah that's my problem I've then got to put um, a 4 mil radial into this space here and put sockets all along the wall here, here, all along here. I've um, connected the armour to the Henley block and I've fitted the uh, SPDs still to connect them because everything after after here is only protected at uh, 100 amps everything before I get to the consumer unit on the end of there needs to be 100 amp worthy so I'm gonna have to use stuff there called tails um, meter tails uh, 25 mil thick cable which is not very bendy I've got to fit that into the tops of here. And it's got to go through there. And you can see that is bare metal. And I don't have any grommets to go into that the right size or any grommets to go into this when they come out the right size. So it's a trip to City Electrical. Back to City Electrical factors.
give it a good lick. Oh shit. I've done a 25 mil hole and need a 32 mil hole. That is not going to be easy. It's all worth it though for this one mate. I've wasted an hour doing that. Almost bang on an hour for these grommets. But you can't go without the grommets. Apart from anything it's unsafe. If it should find its way through the insulation. But it'll be caught up in an inspection and inspection will highlight that missing grommet. I often do myself, but up in Tottenham, there are missing grommets. And I've mentioned it on the periodical inspection report. So, single handed grommet fitting. 